Hello kids, welcome to today's math class and today we'll do multiplication. Let's revisit. The sports day in a jungle is to be held soon. The kangaroos are preparing for the long jump. Bunny, Sunny, Manu, Chunu and Tunu are taking jumps on the number line drawn. What do they reach? Draw the jumps. So here, Bunny. 7 into 2. So, we'll reach number 14. So, here, Sunny. 6 into 3. That means, 3 3 ka jump choga, that is 6 time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 into 3, 18 means each time he'll jump three places total time ho jayega six so six into three that is 18 like this you'll find the distance covered by each of the kangaroo next terms in multiplication look at the multiplication sum 12 into 5 that is equals to 60 here 12 is multiplicate and 5 is multiplier and 60 is a product. In the multiplication sum, the number to be multiplied is called multiplicate. Means just number ko multiply karna hai, that is called multiplicate. The number which multiply, just number se multiply karenge, that is known as multiplier and the answer we get is called product. Next is multiplication properties. When a number is multiplied by 0, the product is 0. Like 11 into 0, that is 0. When the number is multiplied by 1, the product is the number itself. That means if we multiply 1 to any number, we will get the same number as the product. Like here, 26 into 1, that is equals to 26. Next is commutative property. According to this property, it means that if the order of the number is changed, the product is same. Like here, 16 into 7, that is equal to 112. 7 into 16, that is also 112. That means, we can multiply two or more number in any order. The product will remain same. Next, associative property. The factor can be grouped in any way. The product remain the same. Like here, 7 into 6, then multiply by 8, answer is 336. Or what we can do, we can change the grouping 8 into 7, then multiply by 6, answer is same. So, we can group the number in any order, the product will remain same. Next, multiplication by tens, hundreds and thousands. While multiplying a number by 10, 100,000 and 10,000, we just put 1, 2, 3 or 4 zeros after the number. Like here, if you are multiplying the number by 10, so first we multiply by 1, it is same number, that is 4,567. So multiply by 10, that is 1 zero, so we will put 1 zero to the right of product. So answer is 45,670. Here 55 to 1000, so 55 and put 30 to the right, that is 55,000. Clear? While multiplying a number by 20, 30, 40 and so on, multiplying it by 2, 3, 4 and so on and put 10 after the product. For example, to multiply 18 by 19, we multiply First, we will multiply 18 into 9, that is 162. Now, put 10 zero after 162, that is 1620. So, 18 into 90, that is 1620. Clear? While multiply a number by 200, 300, 400 and so on, multiply it by 2, 3, 4 and so on and put two zeros after the product, like here. 17 into 800. So, first we will multiply 17 into 8, 
that is 136 two zero there so put two zero in the product in the right so answer is 13600 clear while multiply a number by 2000 3000 4000 and so on we multiply it by 2 3 4 and so on and put three zeros after the product like here so first 19 into 5 and put three zero answer is 95000 clear while multiply a number with zeros by another number with zeros multiply the digit only then the zeros then put the total number of zeros after the product. For example, what we have to do? 120 multiplied by 800. So first we'll multiply 12 by 8. That is 96. Then 1, 2 and 3. Total 3 zeros. So we'll put 3 zero after the product. That is 96,000. Clear? Now we'll take an example. We have to multiply 1243 by 80. So first we'll multiply 1243 in 8. We'll get 9944. There's one zero. So we'll put one zero after that. So product is 99440. Clear? Next, multiplication by one digit number. Multiply 9687 by 8. So first, we'll multiply 1. 8 into 7, that is 56 ones. So write 6 here and 5 carry over to 10th column. Then 8 into 8, that is 64 plus 5. 69, write 9 here and carry over 6 to the 100th column. Then 6 into 8, that is 48 plus 6. Total 5400s. Write 4 here and 5 carry over to 1000 frame. Then 9 into 8, 72 plus 5. Total 77. So write 7 here and carry over 7 to 10,000 place. So answer is 77,496. Note. Students should remember the carry digit instead of writing it on top. So, whenever you are multiplying, you have to remember the carryover digit. Clear? Next is practice corner 5.1. Multiply the following 2143 into 10. So, answer is 2143 or 10 second I so we'll put 10 here so answer is 21430 it's very easy clear so practice all the questions of this exercise move to next topic next is multiplication by a two digit number multiply by a two digit number ending with 0 here 165 into 10 that is equals to 1650 because there's one zero in multiplier, so we'll put one zero after the product. Clear? Like this, 123 into 20, first 123 into 2, and then we'll multiply by 10. So answer is 2460. Clear? Write zero in the ones place and multiply the number by the digit in the tens place. Clear? Next is. Multiply by any two digit number. Here we have to multiply 132 into 27. So 27 is a two digit number. So what we'll do? 27 can be regrouped as 20 plus 7. So first we'll multiply 7 by all three numbers. Like here. 7 to the 14, 4, 1 carry over. 7, 3 is a 21 and 122, 2, 2 carry over. 7 was a 7 and 2, 9. Next digit is 2. 2 is at tens position. So, what we will put? We will put 1, 0 here and start multiplying. 2, 2 is a 4, 3, 2 is a 6, 2, 1 is a 2. Then add these two numbers. So, answer is 3564. 
this is how we'll multiply by a two digit number next is practice corner 5.2 multiply the following 41 into 30 so what will we will do first we'll multiply 41 by 3 and put 0 1 0 at the end So answer is 1230. Clear? Practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is multiplication by a three digit number. Multiply 493 by 256. 256 is a three digit number. So steps are arrange the number as shown. Multiply 493 by 6 will get 2958. Now multiply. 493 by 5 at 10's place. फिर हम क्या करेंगे? 5 किस place पे? 10's की place पे इससे multiply करेंगे. That is by 50. That means actually we are multiply by 50. So we'll put 10 here. And then 5 से multiply करेंगे number पे. So we'll get 2465. Next, now we'll multiply 493 by 2 at 100's place. That means actually what we are doing, we are multiplying by 200. So, we'll put 2 0 here and then multiply and then add these three numbers. So, 8 plus 0 plus 0, 8, 5 plus 5, 10, 0, 1 carry over, 9 plus 6 plus 6 plus 1, that is 22, 2 carry over, 8 plus 2, 10, 14, 15, 16, 6, 1 carry over. 9 plus 1, 10 and 2, 12. So, answer is 1,26,208. Clear? This is how we will multiply by a 3 digit number. Next is practice corner 5.3. Find the product 825 multiplied by 400. So, first 825 ko 4 se multiply karenge. Thirty three hundred and two more zero. So three lakh thirty thousand. That is the correct answer. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is four C's core learning skills. Solve the sums to crack the code to the riddle. So First, what we'll do? We'll multiply these numbers. 125 multiplied by 316. So, 6 was 33. 1 carry over. 6 was 6 and 1 7. Next, we'll put 1 0, 5, 2 and 1. Then 2 0, 15, 1 carry over. 3 2 is a 6 and 1 7 and 3 was a 3. Add them together 1 39,500. So, this is the correct answer. Like this, you will multiply the number and do the riddle. Clear? Word problems. Four thousand three hundred seventy-two. Find the cost of such twenty-six costs. So, cost of one coat. Twenty-six such coats. So, what will you do? Multiply. For coat is four thousand three hundred seventy-two. Number of coat twenty-six. So, total cost will be 4372 into 26. Next, practice corner 5.4. Digitator is rupees 29,580. Find the cost of 145 such refrigerator. So, for that, 
will multiply cost of one refrigerator that is 20 will multiply by 145. So, next Next number one hai, so we'll put two zero here because one ki position pe hundred ki position pe. So zero eight five nine two. Now we'll add them zero zero. Plus three ten eight eighteen and one nineteen nine. One carry over. Eight plus four twelve and one. 13, 18, 1, 9 plus 1, 10 and 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 8, 4. So, 145 refrigerator ki cost ho jayegi, 42,89,100 rupees. Clear? So, practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is multiple choice questions. Take the correct option. How many legs do 23 dogs have? One dog have four legs. So, 23 into four. Ninety-two legs. That means option. Clear? So, here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it.